Did you know that the Montgomery County Department of Parks manages more than 400 parks? Within those are six public dog parks. But that number is expected to grow. Montgomery Parks is currently running a dog park suitability study to find places for future dog parks, as well as for temporary pop-up dog park events. Here's the scoop. We know that there's a great demand for dog parks in the county, um, and we write a pros park recreation and open space plan every five years, and our pros plan indicates a growing desire for dog parks as well. So the site suitability study is an initiative coming from our pros plan where we are looking for future new locations for dog parks in the county. Really appreciative of uh, the Parks Department moving forward uh, on this uh, important effort after we uh, brought residents and parks and planning all together to try to figure out how we can get this done, particularly in the down county area where dog parks are uh, a challenge in terms of site constraints and in terms of uh, environmental uh, constraints. Uh, and now we're actually out there in the community trying to hear from folks. Right now, the uh, candidate sites for future dog parks are up for public review on our website. So if folks go to montgomeryparks.org and then to the Open Town Hall page, they can see the areas where they can vote for their top two preferences in their general region of the county. We want to be really mindful about uh, where we are proposing these types of facilities to be as purposeful as we can. Um, we are hearing a lot of excitement from dog owners who would love to be able to walk you know, a short distance to a dog park in their community. And then we're hearing concern from people who feel that they don't want to see other needed facilities displaced for a dog park. So it's a real balancing act, which is partly why it takes a long time to study these issues and make sure we're doing you know, the best job we can to put them in the right places. Using five criteria to initially narrow down where uh, dog parks could be suitable in our parks. So we look for um, a minimum of 10,000 square feet, ideally, although we understand that in some places it could be less than that. Uh, we look for um, a, an appropriate distance from residences, so ideally about 200 feet away from people's homes, knowing that there is noise and commotion that goes into a dog park facility. Uh, we look for distance from a playground to minimize conflicts between young children and uh, dogs, even if they're on their leash. Um, we're looking at available parking, although we envision these to be walk-to facilities. There always needs to be one or two parking spaces, depending on where the park is located. And then SEPTED, which stands for Crime Prevention Through Environmental Design. We want any facility to be in a visible, um, accessible area. We use something called a resource analysis map, which is a compilation of layers in GIS that helps us identify constraints in our parks. So we are not, on principle, we're not going to build a dog park facility in a stream valley buffer or in a floodplain, anywhere where the waste that's created in these facilities would directly wash into a, a stream right next to the park. So we're trying to keep these types of facilities away from environmentally sensitive areas. So there's a lot that goes into building any new facility and with a data-driven study like this it can take quite some time to set up the parameters of the study and then do our GIS evaluation and then go out in the field and meet with park managers, meet with the public to narrow down these sites. So we hope that once our candidate sites are narrowed down into recommended or preferred sites that we would be able to then put these sites into our CIP and see funding for them to build one or two each year for the next several years. Because it's an important part of building the livable, walkable, accessible communities that we always talk about. Having a place to gather where uh, folks can come with their dogs to enjoy each other's company, to have a place where uh, they can enjoy our community, a place that's outside with fresh air to enjoy the day. We have a program that we've initiated called Yappy Hour, and it's taken place uh, in Elm Street Park in downtown Bethesda. And this is a great public-private partnership between the Bethesda Urban Partnership, BUP, and the Parks Department. And it's it's a temporary event for uh, a certain amount of time one evening where fences are put up and there's a band and there's 
uh, food and drinks and people can come and enjoy the park and bring their dogs and dogs can run around off leash. The happy hour which had an amazing turnout and we just saw how much absolute energy and absolute interest we have in our community to have activated dog parks. The uh, public comment will be open through April, uh, the end of April, but um, people are always welcome to contact us with their thoughts and questions at any time at dogparks at montgomeryparks.org. To read more about the dog park study or to take the survey, go to this website.